Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've seen various methods by which we can find the volume of basically a bowl-shaped bowl object, we're taking a cylinder of radius 2, height A, and we cut out a bowl-shaped portion of it, and we try to find the volume of the remainder. The relationship between the radius and the height here of this edge of the bowl, it's a paraboloid, Z equals 2R squared. And we're going to take the volume this time as being the volume using cylindrical coordinates of r dr d theta dz, so a small volume element, and we're going to integrate over that volume. So as I said, we've seen several other methods, but now we're going to use the triple integral using cylindrical coordinates. So here we have our volume element, dv. We're going to integrate over the three variables, r, theta, and z. The r limits are going to be from the square root of z over 2, because that's what we find r to be when we relate this to the original equation of the edge here. So we're integrated from the edge to, to the edge of the cylinder from the inside edge to the outside edge. So from the square root of z over 2 to 2. For the angle, we're going to integrate all the way around the cylinder from 0 to 2 pi. And for the height from 0 to the top height, which is 8, when r is equal to 2, z is equal to 8. So now this is how that goes. We're first going to integrate over r dr, and so this becomes equal to, we still have the double integral over theta and over z, but this becomes r squared over 2 evaluated from the lower limit to the upper limit, and we still have d theta and dz, the other two that we have to integrate over. So now when we plug in the upper limit, this is equal to 2 squared, which is 4 divided by 2, which is 2, minus, when we plug in the lower limit, this quantity squared is z over 2 divided by 2, which would be z divided by 4. And then we still have d theta and dz. Now d theta is going to be integrated from 0 to 2 pi. So when we integrate d theta, we'll get theta. So this is equal to the integral. We have 1 left over z. We still have 2 minus z over 4, which acts as a constant when we integrate over theta. This is theta, evaluated from 0 to 2 pi, and dz. Now here, when we plug in the upper limit, we get 2 pi. Plug in the lower limit, we get 0. So that means we can take the 2 pi outside the integral. This is 2 pi times the integral over z of 2 minus z over 4 dz. So now we can go ahead and integrate this relative to the variable z. Coming over here, notice this is a 2. So 2 integrated times dz gives us 2z. So we have 2 pi times 2 becomes 2z minus, we have z over 4. Now that becomes z squared over 8 because we bring the new exponent down. So this is z squared over 8 and evaluate it from 0 to 8. So this becomes equal to 2 pi times, when we plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. We only plug in the upper limit. So 2 times 8, which is 16, minus 8 squared, which is 64, divided by 8, which is 8. And so this becomes 2 pi times 8, or 16 pi, which is, of course, the exact same volume that we found in the previous videos. But here you can see that you can do this just as well and probably preferred using cylindrical coordinates. And that's how it's done.